So the emergence of large action models as a branch of generative AI is so trending today because we're not dealing with a chatbot anymore. We are dealing with an autonomous agent that basically can take over our screen and do the work for us. And this does not need any type of programming or even low code to no code environments. We just need to describe our process and then the large language model will translate that sentence into steps. And then from those steps, it can take over and do the work for us using computer vision capabilities. So this new category is basically very hyped for a good reason, because we have been always able to create processes using RPA, robotic process automation. But today, a lot of people see that this new technology will affect the RPA industry and will basically impose the fact that we should ask a question whether we should go with RPA, traditional RPA, or we should go with this new approach of large action models before creating any type of process. So today we are going to see one example of a new startup called Multion, and we're going to see how it can be used to create these uh, autonomous agents. And does it actually work when the process requires two, three, four, five steps? So with that being said, let's jump to my screen so we can see Multion in action. So the first thing you should do if you wanna have access to Multion is access the Discord channel. So I have accessed the Discord. And then from the Discord channel, I went to a beta request and then I, I requested the access to beta version. And then from there, I have been able to add it as an extension into my Chrome. And then from there, you can actually ask it the type of actions that it wanted to do. And then of course, it's going to uh, apply the actions. But if you want to do the same as me, just go to Discord and go to add server and click on join server and look for Multion. And you got, you're gonna basically join the server like I did. So that being said, let's actually start trying using it. And let's use something that is very, very basic, which is uh, tweeting something about uh, about Multion, for example. So let's say make a tweet about Multion. Let's click on do it. Then it will start detailing what it's going to do and how the large language model is basically going to interpret what I asked it to do. And then it will take over my screen basically i'm and typing a tweet about multion and posting it on twitter so it took over my screen and it basically tweeted it and then it has finished so as far as simple actions it is perfectly working if we ask it to go ahead and do something else like a, a book a gmail meeting with myself tomorrow so it's like i'm sitting in a reminder but I don't want to send this to anyone, so let's just see what's going to do. So it navigates its calendar, then meeting with myself, and today is the 13th, tomorrow is the 14th, so it has been able to do it. I am filling in the event details to book a meeting with the user for tomorrow, including the event title, date, start, and end of it, adding the user's email as... I'm clicking the send button to send the invitation emails to the Google Calendar guests, which includes the user as the meeting is with themselves. So it has finished. So as far as actions that require only one or two steps, it has no problem. Now let's actually some, uh, ask something different where, for example, it has to look for, uh, for some kind of information on the web, and then it has to go back to Twitter and then tweet about it. So let's ask it, for example, look, Oh no, not here, but here. Look for the results or the score for the finals of football Asian Cup. And then make a tweet about the performance of the teams that were involved. So let's see how it's going to interpret this kind of action and this kind of, uh, this kind of request. So it has logged on. So 
So it has memorized. Now that I have the final score of the Asian Cup, I'm going to Twitter to make a tweet about the performance of the teams involved. I'm composing a tweet about the performance of the teams involved in the finals of the Football Asian Cup as per the user's request. I'm posting the tweet about the performance of the teams involved in the finals of the Football Asian Cup. So he has been able to do it. On an incredible final of the Asian Cup, Jordan showed the resilience, but Qatar's skills were unmatched and in the game 3 won victory. So he has been able to detect which game was the final. Because if we, we go back here, sorry, so Asian Cup. So anyways, it has a page like this, and then it has been able to detect which one is the final, which was this one. And then from there, it went back to Twitter and then did the action that, uh, that we needed. So as far as now, it is actually working perfectly, but let's take it a step further and let's ask it, for example, to access, uh, for example, let's say ChatGPT, chat.openai, and then from there, we want it to navigate to DALI, and then from DALI, we want it to create an image and then download that image. So that is a more challenging task because there are more steps involved so let's see in this case what's going to happen. So let's see in this case if it's going to be able to do it or not. Okay, so it has navigated to ChatGPT. I'm navigating to the ChatGPT website to access DALI and create an image of an orange cat. Okay, and then... Let's see if it's going to be able to access DALI. I have DALI on the screen. Does not have to, to go anywhere. To I'm look clicking for it. on the chat GPT link to open the chat GPT okay. website and proceed with the task of creating an image of an orange cat using DALI. -E. I'm clicking on the DALI link on the chat GPT website to access the interface where I can create an image of an orange cat. I'm typing the description an orange cat into the DALI input box and then clicking the submit button to generate the image. I am typing the description an orange cat into the input box to request the creation of the image. I am clicking the stop generating button to submit the description an orange cat to DALI and generate the image. Okay. It appears that the submit button to generate the image is disabled and I cannot find another way to submit the request for the image of an orange cat on the DALI E interface. Could you please provide guidance on how to proceed with generating and downloading the image? So here I can ask it to, so what happened now is that it has submitted an orange cat to, uh, the, to the browser, to ChatGPT. ChatGPT have started and it could not figure out that it should wait for the image to be generated before she can make another request. So Multion works on a way that if it fails or it feels like it's failing, it will just try again. But in this case, it did not detect that the image was still loading. So it should have waited for the image to be generated before it clicks on submit. So here, as you can see, it said an orange cat, then it said an orange cat again, and then it was gonna click send message or submit but it failed. So in these cases where you have a, a kind of a more challenging interface, there is more work to be done on the development side. So it can figure out how long should it wait to get the results that it wants. So because everything seems to be instantaneous with any kind of application, this is what it has done. So in this case, it did not work. But let's try again. Let's try again and see if it's going to be able to do so. So let's take the same, the same request and click on what's next and click on do it. Okay, so now it's given us all the details on what it should do. It has access ChatGPT. I am starting a new chat with ChatGPT to access DALI and create an image of an orange cat. I'm clicking on the DALI link to access the image generation interface where I can create an image of an orange cat. See? I'm instructing DALI to create an image of an orange cat by typing the prompt into the message input field and submitting it. I am instructing DALI to create an image of an orange cat by typing the prompt into the input box and submitting it. I'm waiting for DALI to complete the image creation process of an orange cat. 
I am scrolling down to check if the image of an orange cat has been created by a DALI and to find the download option. I am scrolling down the page to check if the image creation process has completed and to find the download option for the orange cat image. I am clicking on the button to show the image of an orange cat that DALI has created. I am clicking on the download image button to download the image of an orange cat that DALI has created. So. It has been able to download the image after all, but it has created this three times in here and then created it another time. So it's a hit or miss, but already this is very impressive. Just from plain text, we have been able to create an image and access daddy and basically understand the whole context. And then it has been able to go ahead and finish the job, but it's still a hit and miss. That's why we should try with different prompts to see if it's going to work or not. So in this case, for example, Let's go back here, and instead of saying just download it, we're going to say wait for it to be generated before you download it. So let's add before you download the image. Give DALI enough time to generate it. And don't give another prompt if it's taking so much time. Let's see now if it's going to be able to wait enough for the image to be generated and now only go ahead and try to give as many prompts as possible for the image to be generated. Okay. I am navigating to the OpenAI website to access DALI for generating an image of an orange cat. It has opened OpenAI this time. Okay. I am clicking on the Try Open Chat GPT from OpenAI. I am clicking on the Try Chat GPT link to access the Chat GPT website, which is the first step towards reaching DALI. To Let's turn it off. Okay, so it has been able to type an orange cat. Same thing. Okay, so it is waiting. So it has not sent another an orange cat. Okay. And we have reached the daily limits. So we have to try again in three hours. But the idea is it has been able, the prompt has actually changed the behavior and it has changed how uh, how the actions are going to be made so i would take that as a win since it did not uh, send another prompt but as far as this type of action is concerned we have seen that we can influence the behavior of the uh, agents by uh, giving extra instructions okay so let's summarize and have the main takeaways from this video i have worked on different autonomous agents generators there are some of them that doesn't work, simply they don't work. There are some of them that they are decent and others are impressive. I think Multion is on the impressive side. The fact that it can actually give you the process and detail it and then go ahead and do it and don't fail for multiple times. And it can retry and know that it has failed in a lot of cases and retry it. That's actually very good uh, for a base product. Now, where is this industry gonna go? That is the big question. Because for example, I work in the RPA industry, robotic process automation industry for six years now. And a lot of the clients, they need guarantees that the process is going to work the same way every time. This is not something we can have in autonomous agents today, simply because the autonomous agents that not give us some kind of code or some kind of workflow that we can just take a screenshots of and run it and launch it every time. And even if we do have that, we should have some kind of control room or some kind of orchestrator that will help us run so many products. That is why I see that it's hard today to penetrate the RPA market with the big players, simply because these people need some guarantees and we cannot tell them, for example, that this robot is going to work the same. And they ask us about the error rates that sometimes go as down as 1% using traditional RPA tools. But as far as base products and potential, 
I see a lot of potential in this. And I think that this is going to be something that even traditional RPA players like UiPath, Power Automate or Automation Anywhere should be really looking at and should be thinking of creating products that are mimicking directly that. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.